Hi, my name is Sanne and this is a wrap-up of the books I read in July 2015. I read 23 books this month and my family and I went on vacation to Austria where my older sister gave me this notebook where I had to write in all of the books I read on vacation. I read 8 books in total. Not only did I have to put in all of the books I read, I also had to colour in the number of pages I read and it ended up reading 2,922 pages. The first book I read was called Touch by A.J. Alto. It was a paranormal crime novel and while I like the genre, it's not my favourite so unless you're really into that, I wouldn't recommend it. It was good, but I'm not going to continue with the series. Four stars. The next book I read was Wonder by R.J. Palacio. This one was the book my older sister picked for a book club. The book is about a boy named August who has a deformed face. Because of his face, he has had some medical problems which caused him to stay at home and be homeschooled by his mother. The book also describes how other people in his life is affected by him. The book was really good and I gave it 5 stars and you should definitely read it. Then I read How to be Danish, A Journey to the Cultural Heart of Denmark by Patrick Kingsley. I'm from Denmark and I'm really interested in seeing what foreigners think of us and our culture. I found the book to be interesting and insightful but also a bit funny. I urge you to read the book if you're interested in Denmark or are from Denmark. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. The last books I read on vacation in Austria was the entire Mary Gentry series by Laurel K. Hamilton. I already owned the second book but I found the fifth book in a small bookstore and I had to get it. These are my favorite covers, but they're really hard to come by. So when I found this one, I just, I bought it and I loved it. This was the third time I read this series. It's about fairies and sex and politics, all of which I love. So if you like any of that stuff, I definitely recommend it. I gave it five out of five stars once again. The series is about Princess Meredith, who's in line for the throne of the Unsealed Court. The side, a type of fairy, has trouble reproducing and since the rule of the court is said to extend his or her fertility to the rest of the court, the queen has promised the throne to which of her heirs reproduces first. To ensure conception, Meredith is asked to choose between the guards of the queen's ravens. There's some sex, but mostly a lot of political maneuvering and finding allies as well as some fight scenes. If you like the Queen of the Tilling, you'll really enjoy this series. I gave it 5 out of 5 and I recommend you read it as well. The next book I read was Blood Rides by Kristen Painter. This was a reread for me and I didn't really like the book the first time I read it but I wanted to give it another try because of the gorgeous covers. Check them out, they're amazing. I didn't really like it that much better this time around but I still might buy the series just because it's so beautiful. I gave it 4 stars out of 5 and I urge you to check it out. When I came home I read Poison by Adrian Woods. This is a novella that takes place between book 3 and 4 in the Gronian series. I really enjoyed the first three books, they're some of my favorites, I really like dragon books, but in this novella the characters seem flat and annoying and I didn't really like it. I gave it three stars. I don't recommend you read this novella, but you should definitely read the first three books. Okay. The next book I read was Angel Bound by Christina Bauer. I really looked forward to this book, the premise seemed really interesting and promising, but I was kind of underwhelmed. It wasn't really what I wanted it to be, so I gave it four stars because it was good, but it wasn't great. So I might read the rest of the series, I'm not entirely sure yet, but it won't be this month, maybe not the next year. Then I read the Alice Craft series by Kalina Price. This is an adult urban fantasy series, which is my favorite genre, I've also really enjoyed it and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Jennifer Stepp, author of the adult urban fantasy series Elemental Assassin, came out this month with a young adult urban fantasy series. The first book is called Cold Burn of Magic and I read it, I loved it, and I gave it 5 stars. I can't wait for the next book in the series. Sweet Sin by JC Geisinger is a particular genre of trashy literature that I really enjoy. It's Rockstar meets Good Girl. This book was exactly what I wanted it to be and no more, no less. It was funny, it was sexy, it was dramatic and it was fun and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. The last book I read this month was the latest book in the Elemental Assassin series by Jennifer Stepp. This was the 13th book in the series, so I will get into the plot. At this point the characters are well established and the plot is quite intricate. Just if you enjoy an old urban fantasy series, definitely check this series out. Give it 5 out of 5 stars. So this is what I read this month. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll check some of the books out. If you do, please leave a comment down below and we'll talk about it in the comments. My Goodreads page along with links to all of the books I mentioned are in the description down below. This was my first video so sorry if the audio was crap and sorry for my terrible English. I'm not an English speaker, obviously. See you next time. Bye!